So let me welcome the leaders of the Pacific Islands and all the friends, particularly to our colleagues uh, from the Peso Air Fund in organizing this event uh, at the uh, Climate Fund's uh, pavilion. Not long ago, in Glasgow, um, the Jeff in our pavilion, we also hosted a very interesting event with the leaders uh, from another sector of the Pacific. This was the Eastern Tropical Pacific leaders, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, and Ecuador. The presidents of those uh, four countries uh, during the, the COP in Glasgow committed uh, to protect 30% of the ocean. Today, we got a very similar event uh, whereby we have more than 10 uh, Pacific uh, leaders committed uh, to protect uh, marine ecosystems. In the same way that it was done in Glasgow, I hope that uh, this uh, commitment really helps uh, the Pacific uh, leaders and their societies to become more resilient to the um, changing of the environment and changing of, of the climate. It was very interesting to see what the tropical uh, Eastern Pacific countries were able to realize, not, all, not just because they committed uh, for that 30%, but most importantly, they receive a lot of financial support from multilateral and private sector, philanthropic sector based on that commitment. And I strongly believe that that will be the case for the Pacific leaders. Today, the Jeff is allocating $125 million in star Jeff aid resources uh, for the Pacific Islands. And I hope these resources can be leveraged by more resources from many different sources so we can complement to what every single country is uh, providing through public expenditures in their effort uh, to become much more resilient to a changing environment. Thank you so much.